والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله نويت سنة الإعتكاء Please tell me, brothers, whenever you enter a masjid upon remembering, make the intention of nafili i'tikaf, because for as long as you stay in the masjid, you will keep obtaining the reward of nafili i'tikaf. The Holy Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, O people, undoubtedly on the day of judgment, the person who will attain salvation early from its terror and reckoning will be the one amongst you who would have recited Salat upon me abundantly in the world. Dear Islami brothers, before listening to the Bayan, let us make some good intentions for attaining <coughs> rewards. The beloved Rasul has said, Niyatul Mu'mini Khayrun Min Amali. The intention of a believer is better than his action. Without a good intention, no reward is granted for a good deed. And the more righteous intentions one makes, the greater reward he will attain. So firstly, for the pleasure of Allah Azawajal, to get sawab and to acquire knowledge of deen, I am going to listen to the bayan from beginning until end with full attention. Inshallah Azawajal. As for myself, I intend to deliver the bayan for the pleasure of Allah Azawajal and His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alayhi Wa Sallam My dear Islamic brothers, the pious and blessed individuals sent by Allah Azawajal for the guidance of people are called Anbiya. Blessed Anbiya Alayhi Salam are those special people to whom Allah Azawajal <coughs> sends revelation. Revelation is sometimes sent through angels and sometimes without any source. Blessed Anbiya alayhi salam are free from sins and their habits are pure. Their blessed names, lineages, bodies, sayings, acts, habits and manners are the best and are free from hatred. Allah blesses them with perfect wisdom. Even the wisest person on the world cannot come equal to a millionth part of their level of wisdom. Allah endows them with knowledge of the unseen and they keep themselves busy in the obedience and worship of Allah day and night and they convey the commandment of Allah to his bondmen and guide them to his path. Amongst the blessed Anbiya alayhi salam there are those who bring new sharia i.e. laws and they are called rasul. There are differences in the ranks of the Blessed Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. The ranks of some are superior to others. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam holds the highest rank. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last Nabi. Allah azawajal has ended the chain of prophethood on the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No one can be given nubuwa after the Holy Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The person who considers it permissible that Nabuwa can be given to an individual even after the beloved Rasul وسلم, is out of the fault of Islam. Let us now have the privilege of listening to some faith refreshing events and miracles of the blessed life of the very respected and blessed Nabi of Allah Zawajal, Sayyidina Isa Ruhullah the blessed name Sayyidina, uh, of Sayyidina Isa salam, is Isa and his family name is Ibn Maryam. Kalimatullah, Masih, Wajih, Mukarrab and Salih are his titles. Alhamdulillah Azzawajal, our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned the glory and dignity of Sayyidina Isa salam, in an extremely splendid manner. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has also mentioned his arrival near the day of judgment and the signs of his arrival. 
Let us listen to three blessed sayings of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam for attaining blessings. Number one, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said, "I am the dua of my father Sayyidina Ibrahim alaihi salam, and at the end, Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam alaihi salam was the one who gave glad tidings of my arrival." Two, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said. There is no Nabi between me and Sayyidina Isa a.s. He will descend from the heavens near the judgment day. When you see him, you will recognize him. His complexion will be fair, his height will be medium, and he will be wearing two light yellow robes. His hair will be dry, but you will see him as though drops of water are dripping down from his head, and he will kill the swine. All the religions except Islam will be eliminated by Allah Azawajal in his age. Mm-hmm. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam will kill the Dajjal. He alayhi salam will pass away after living on the earth for 40 years and Muslims will offer his funeral salah. Subhanallah. Number three, the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, when Allah Azawajal will send Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, he alayhi salam will descend on the eastern white minaret of Jami Masjid Damascus, wearing two light yellow robes, and will be resting his hands on the arms of two angels. And when he alayhi salam will lower his head, the drops of water will be dripping, and when he alayhi salam raises his head, white silver beads resembling pearls will be dropping off. Salu ala Salu ala Dear Islamic <coughs> another bright aspect of Sayyidina Isa alayhi blessed life is that he was a man of simplicity and was very humble. If he alayhi salam had wanted, he alayhi salam could have spent his life with great splendor, accumulated heaps of wealth, and could have spent his life in a very big palace. But may we be sacrificed for his simplicity. He alayhi salam rejected the comfort and luxuries of this mortal world. And instead of living a life with great splendor, he alayhi salam always preferred to live a humble life and also persuaded others to do so. Sayyidina Umar bin Sulaim has said, Once Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam went to his companions wearing a woolen robe with an ordinary shalwar. He alayhi salam was barefooted and his head was uncovered. Due to being hungry, his complexion had changed. His lips had become absolutely dry due to the intensity of his thirst. He alayhi salam said salam to his companions and then said, O Bani Israel, if I want the world with all its bounties will come under my feet by the command of Allah Subhanallah. And O Bani Israel, always consider the world inferior. Do not give it any respect. It will turn soft for you. Condemn the world. The hereafter will be beautified for you. Never ever start respecting and revering the world and ignore the hereafter. Undoubtedly, the world is not worthy of any respect. Every day, the world brings some sort of new evil or harm to you. Therefore, stay safe from its deception. He, alayhi salam, then said, O oh people, do you know where my home is? The people replied, O oh Nabi, alayhi salam, where is your home? He, alayhi salam, replied, Masajid are my residence. Hunger <coughs> satisfies my appetite. My feet are my transport. The shining moon at night is my guide. Offering Salah. Offering Salah in very cold nights is my most favorite act. My food is dry leaves. The grass and plants of the earth are like fruits for me. They provide food to animals and I also eat the same vegetables and plants. My dress is wool. Fearing Allah is my sign and poor people are my dearest friends. I spent my morning without having any worldly belongings and in the same state I spent my evening that I have no worldly belongings. Even then, I do not care 
that so and so is very rich. In this state, I feel myself very fortunate and wealthy. I e. even under all these circumstances, I am satisfied with the will of my Lord. It is also said that he salam, spent 10 years of his life with only one woolen jubba. When the robe got ripped from somewhere, he alayhi salam would tie it with a thread or patch it up. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Have you noticed how simple Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam was? He was not only simple, but also the one who would bear hunger and thirst to adopt piety and contentment. He alayhi salam liked to offer salah in extremely cold nights. He alayhi salam was the one who would weep out of the fear of Allah Azzawajal, who would love the poor and remain detached from the rich. Now, keeping in mind his blessed life, let us make our own accountability. Do we like simplicity? Do we offer salah in hot and cold weather? Have we ever wept out of the fear of Allah Azzawajal? Do we also love the poor and the destitute? Do we also run away from the love of this world? Do we also have the passion for pondering over the hereafter? May Allah subhanahu enable us to do fikr in Medina in this manner and give us the ability to learn and to listen to the zikr of pious people of Allah subhanahu by attending sunnah inspiring ijtima'at and madhini muzakiras regularly so that we may also become practicing by virtue of its blessings. When Sayyidat Imam Maryam returned to the village of Bani Sarai with Sayyidina Isa السلام, in her lap, the people blamed her and started saying, O Maryam, you have committed a very shameful act. Though there was no character defect in your father and neither your mother ever committed adultery, how have you given birth to a baby boy without a husband? When the people crossed the limits of taunting, Sayyidatina Maryam anha told people to get answers from her child. The people said, how can we converse with this child? He is still a baby. Upon hearing these comments from the people, Sayyidina Isa salam started delivering a speech in which Allah has stated in the Holy Quran. Translation from Kanzul Iman. The child proclaimed, I am Allah Azawajal's bondman. He has given me the book and has made me the communicator of the unseen, i.e. he has made me an Nabi. And he has made me blessed wherever I be and ordained upon me prayer and poor dew as long as I live. And he has made me dutiful to my mother and not made me vigorous or ill-fated. And peace is upon me the day I was born, and on the day I shall taste death, and on the day I will be raised alive. <laughs> Dear Sami brothers, this is a miracle of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, that just after his birth, he alayhi salam eloquently delivered such a comprehensive speech. In his speech, first of all, he declared himself a bondman of Allah Azawajal, so that no one may call him God or the son of God because people were going to slander him in the future. And this slander was, in fact, an accusation against Allah Azzawajal. Therefore, it was the natural aspect of his prophethood to firstly refute the false accusations that were going to be made towards Allah Azzawajal before refuting the blame of his mother. Allahu Akbar. This is true that whosoever he, Allah Azzawajal, blesses with Nubuwa, Certainly his birth is extremely blessed and the elevated signs of his nubuwa start to appear from very early on in his childhood. Dear Sami brothers, from the speech of Sayyidina Isa salam, we have also attained this madhani pearl that praying salah, paying zakah and treating the mother well have been very old acts of worship 
and the favorite practice of Blessed Anbiya alayhi salam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. These are the beautiful acts of worship which even Blessed Sharia has also commanded us to perform. But unfortunately, now masajid are becoming empty and the places of evil are becoming full. People are acting evasively in the matters of paying zakah. The people who deserve zakah have a hard time. The mother beneath whose feet lies paradise is badly treated. What has happened to the Muslims? Now when will our masajid be filled with salah offering people? Which day will the number of salah offering people increase? How long shall we be lazy in paying zakah? And how long will it continue like this? Sallu ala al-Habib Dear Islamic brothers, remember, at this time Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam is alive in the heavens and will arrive into this world near the day of judgment as a follower of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam will come into my ummah as a khalifa. Before the arrival of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, some of the signs of Judgment Day will also appear. Allahumma Mawlana, Mufti Muhammad Amjad Ali Azami rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has said, Some signs will appear before the world ends. Knowledge will disappear. Ignorance will be in abundance. Fornication will be in excess. To remain steadfast on religion will be as difficult as holding a burning coal in the fist. And paying zakah will be difficult for people because they will consider it a fine. A husband will obey his wife and disobey his parents. Songs and music will be in abundance. The jar will appear and patrol the whole earth for 40 days. His fitna will be very severe. He will claim to be a god. He will put, he will put the one who believes in him into his paradise and will make the one who denies him enter his hell. He will show many illusions and in reality these will all be magic which will have nothing to do with reality. Then Sayyidina Isa salam, will descend from the sky on the eastern minaret of Jami Masjid Damascus. The accursed Dajjal will start to melt by the pleasant aroma of Sayyidina Isa salam's breath as salt dissolves in water. Sayyidina Isa salam, will stab him with a spear on his back due to which he will die. Salu ala al-Habib Alhamdulillah Azzawajal Today my dear Islamic brothers In the speech we have heard That Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam is alive And will arrive near the day of judgment He alayhi salam was simple, pious and content And the mother of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam Is the leader of heavenly women Sallu ala al-Habib Alhamdulillah Azawajal As we all know by the grace of Allah Azawajal Sunnahs are abundantly learnt and taught in the fragrant motherly environment of Dawud Islami A global non-political movement of the Quran and Sunnah it is a motherly request that you spend the whole night in the weekly Sunnah inspiring Ijtima taking place at 8 o'clock on Thursday for the, with the intention of gaining reward and make it a part of your routine to travel with the Madani Kafila of Dawati Islami, which travels every month with the devotees of the Rasul and fill out the Madani Inamat booklet every day practicing Fikr in Medina and submit it to the relevant, responsible Islamic brother of your locality on the first day of every Islamic month. By the blessing of this, you will develop a mindset and a yearning to adopt sunnahs, to have hatred for sins, and to protect your faith. Inshallah, May Allah give us a tawfiq to remember what has been said in the Bayan, to spread it to others, and be able to act upon it ourselves. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah.